I'd love for you to kind of talk through at least, you know, your, your interpretation of, of like, uh, of Juan's master plan, the hardware, the storing, the data, and then the compute uh, elements of the of kind of the file claim master plan, how that builds off of, of kind of the value proposition you were just describing. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, like the thing I described is sort of like a motivation of like why Filecoin is like a concept should exist. It's really just a bet that like, if you can solve the technical and software problems, like markets will be more efficient than like centralized incumbents because like cloud services tend to actually have some sort of like locality advantages uh, and also just cost in an open market. So by locality, what I mean is like, if I can keep my data closer to you, like in a CDN, I can offer it, like I can serve it faster. And that's just like a physical advantage because the if the speed of light is like the limiting constraint on how fast you can move data. And like, if I'm closer to you, like there is a certain speed at which even if like, yeah, you try to send it faster, like the speed of light will stop you. Um, and so, yeah, like when Juan is talking about the master plan, he's actually sort of like, uh, like you could frame it as a master plan. You could also think of it in terms of like the causality or like what you need in order to enable the other stuff. So in order to acquire, like the first step has to be acquiring hardware. Um, and that's pretty straightforward because like there's one network effects to having like a large amount of hardware, um, like hardware sort of begets more hardware. Um, and you want like the incremental provider to sort of like align to like the largest stack. Um, but two, it also gives you the substrate to like upgrade. Um, so when we think about like all the protocol improvements to the Filecoin network, like that's something that if you thought of it like Tesla as an analogy, you're like shipping upgrades like over the airwaves uh, to each of these like different data centers. Um, and like the larger base that you have, the more improvements that you sort of get out of that. Um, as things like compute over data, as people improve like the storage side, as like retrieval services come online, like if you have hardware that's sort of like able to accept those upgrades, that increases sort of like uh, the service area of like the offerings that you can actually like give to the real world. Um, so like why hardware first? Uh, it's really because it gives you a substrate more than anything else. Um, so then the next question is like, okay, so that's step one, step two. Like you basically want to like make that hardware useful. So start adding in data. Um, people sort of think that Filecoin is designed to, well, I don't know if people think it, but you'll hear it every now and again. Filecoin today is more like archival storage. That isn't like necessarily out of like a specific desire to be hardware storage. It's actually a function of using Filecoin's proofs to sort of like uh, basically help acquire hardware. So like if you look at Filecoin's tokenomics, it really rewards uh, storage providers who bring capacity into the network. Um, it's able to do that because we're using these like zero knowledge proofs in order to like verify the hard drive capacity um, or the hard drive like allocation that's in the network. Um, so that proof process is what sort of like makes Filecoin sort of target archival storage. And so a lot of the effort, especially in this sort of like phase two of the master plan has been looking at like, what are use cases that benefit um, so like, if you look at, we're at the, looking at the intersection between like what Filecoin does today and like, what are the use cases in the world? These actually tie together in a really nice way or archival data tends to be quite large and we have quite a large amount of capacity that we want to like sort of fill up. So there's like a natural sort of like synergy between the two. Um, so that's sort of like step two, which is like make the, like seed as much data into the network as you can. Um, and in another way, that's like adding another layer to the substrate where you're saying like, First, I have empty hard drives, and I fill up the hard drives with stuff. And it, now the two of those give you something that you can make more useful with step three, which is like add more services. So when we say add more services, this is like, cool. What are the things people actually want to do with the cloud? That could be like the hot storage side. That could be the retrieval markets with CDNs. That could be compute. That could be databases. It's really just saying like, once you've got this data onboarded onto the network, once you build up more services, there's two things that you get. Thing number one is you get compounding. So like uh, once you have like a compute protocol that's running on top of these data sets that are already seeded onto the network, well, the cheapest place to store the new data set that's generated after that compute is on the hard drives that are sitting right next door. Um, you don't have to ship it to like some other location. It's just like the easy upsell is to add more capacity or like add more data sets into the network. Um, the same is true for retrieval. Uh, if you build up like basically like open channels between a retrieval network and the storage network, like you can have the retrieval network eject extra state or like extra data into the Filecoin network for more like storage. 
Um, you can also read back out so you can increase the effective amount of data that you can serve. Um, so I think like to sort of summarize like the, the master plan, really the first two steps are building up a substrate where it's like first add all of this hardware, um, second add data into the hardware, um, and then third is like make that data more useful. And as you're layering all more, more of these services, you're building up sort of these like network effects between uh, sort of like the different offerings that exist. And hopefully that leads to more like compounding usage between like the various components of like the Filecoin ecosystem.